Hi guys, this is Mr. Chalke. I'm going to do a continuity question on the SBA that we're doing. Here they're saying that Chabalala uh, Traders is owned by Petri Chabalala. He buys and sells watching machines for cash and on credit. Petri Chabalala is a qualified accountant and he prepares the financial records for his business. The demand for his washing machine is increasing and he has decided to open another branch. He will soon need to employ a person who will prepare the financial records. You have been approached by Patrick to complete the notes to the financial statements for the year ended 31st August 2023. If you wish to, if you display your knowledge of finance, Patrick will employ you as the accountant number one. Prepare the notes to the financial statements for the year ended 31st August 2023. And you have to do inventories, owners, equity note, and trade and other payables. Now, on the information, um, on the information we are told that um now last year when this project was done we had received an errata for this to say that on the trial balance it was supposed to be i don't know how to put it like on the trial balance the information that we are given on the extract this was not written as capital unfortunately when i got uh, this past question paper they didn't get the final one so here um it is owners equity not capital okay so we have our owners um equity here not capital okay because if they are saying capital it will mean that we have to record things different because capital and owners equity are not the same so now and then also the other thing that we must also check okay so that's the only thing that uh, was corrected on that error so now, when they've given you capital note, uh, owner's equity note, guys, um, it will simply mean that the closing balance that you are given, the balance that you are given, if the addition of capital was added, would be the one that you put at the bottom. Okay. So now here they're saying uh, that we need to start by entering the information first, uh, just so that we can save time. Remember those steps I told you about. So our capital here on the 31st August, owner's equity is 975 remember i said this is not capital unfortunately uh, let me maybe cancel it because we will keep forgetting so this was owner's equity according to the errata not capital now um he, we need firstly need to start by entering the information that we're given on this owner's equity we'll wait a bit but on drawings we can record them so you start with the information that you have okay remember under the information um you would have your uh what do you call it under the information you will need to uh ins insert your format that I'd, like i said so this is the format that you have um i inserted some of these things so that i can save time so now we need to check under drawings we have hundred and twenty five thousand okay then from there we continue capital remember i said we'll come back to it loan will not affect us for now fixed deposit will not affect us for now trading stock of 310,000 will definitely affect us so it goes to the inventory note here so we put uh, that 310,000 here and then next what we have um we have debtors control now remember guys debtors control is part of trading other receivables so we'll not use it bank overdraft is shown separately on the balance sheet so we'll not use it petty cash is part of cash and cash equivalent so we'll not use it creditors for salaries is part of trade and other uh, payables so it means we must use it so remember we have creditors for salaries here because that is the expense that we are seeing so we'll have our creditors um for salaries i think the answer is for that is sixteen thousand. now remember creators for salaries guys must be recorded at the net salary okay so the answer is sixteen thousand, and then we have sars payee for three thousand two hundred so we can include it here um sars payee uh for three thousand two hundred and then next we have um okay so this is all that we have for now i don't see anything that is supposed to go under trade creditors i don't see accrued expenses i don't see income receiving advance so maybe we'll get something here on the notes and then 
after that remember guys if you are required to do the note and you're not doing the balance sheet you should show your current portion under your trade and other payables okay so it would also include uh current portion on loan but if you are required to do the, that part of the balance sheet that includes the liabilities current portion will be recorded separately under current liabilities and not on the loan okay now the first transaction says that the owner of uh, the owner of Chabalala Traders contributed 75,000 cash as additional capital on the 31st of August. And they are saying that this transaction was recorded. Now, if you look at this, remember I said after the paper was amended, they said that this total is not for capital, it's for owner's equity. So it means that this is the closing balance for owner's equity as 975,000. So that 975,000 will come here. We don't know. What is the capital at the moment? I think the balance would be uh, the, the the figure that we are supposed to look for. And then the additional amount is 75,000. Okay. Then next we go to our information. Here they're saying that uh, Patrick Chabalala took uh, for personal use. Uh, to, to took stock for personal use for 8750 and this has not been recorded now this stock that he took for personal use they did not tell us uh, whether uh, they did not tell us whether um how do you put it they didn't say anything about the selling price so we assume that this is at the cost price and also if you look at your information on this they didn't mention any markup so it tells you that your answer is at the cost price should they give you the price of the stock at a selling price you must use the markup to convert it to cost price so we're going to say under trading stock we are going to subtract 8750 here so we're going to say minus 8750 and then we increase our drawings here by plus 8750 okay and then next the next transaction says the following information relating to pegging material pegging material bought 5.6 pegging material used uh 1875 now if you take um 5.6 and you say minus 1875 it's supposed to give you the pegging material that is on hand which is 3725 we are interested on the on hand part only so our packing material is 3725 so we'll have it here um packing material and then the answer would write 3725 so our, our, our answer for this is um 3725 okay so uh, i think that part is probably clear now next they're saying that the loan statement received from the bank on 31st august 2020 reflected the flowing the balance on the 1st of september 2022 520 000 total repayments during the year 80 000 and balance on the first on the 31st of august was 400 000. now they're saying that 25 percent <coughs> of the loan will be paid in the next financial year interest on loan is capitalized now remember our closing balance is how much is uh, four hundred thousand so if you look for um if you look for uh 25 percent of four hundred thousand you are going to get uh i think that's a quarter of of four hundred thousand you'll get something like uh what do you call it something like hundred thousand uh, when you calculate it this activity i can't remember where i saw it but they tried to change um one of the activities that we used in class so i hope you guys when you see something like that it will become easy for you so that current portion for us to get it we need to say four hundred thousand multiply by 25 divide uh, let me fix here multiply by 25 um divide by 100 and then our current portion on loan remember it will remain one hundred thousand, and then uh, from there we check what else are we given they are saying that the net profit for the year amounts 295,000 after all adjustments were taken into consideration so meaning that at the end of the year 
our net profit was 195,000 and then from there we can then try to close off our things let's check what is the total for our drawings so if we say 125,000 125,000 we say plus 8,750 it is giving us 133,750 remember this must be in brackets so we'd have 133,750 um, here and then bracket it okay now if you look at this we have everything except the opening balance so it means we need to work from here and go to the top so bottom up where we see brackets we add where we see addition we minus now remember for this i corrected i said if they give you the balance of owners equity and they say that maybe if there's any capital contribution and they say that the transaction was recorded you take that closing balance you put it at the end but if they give you the balance of capital and not uh what do you call it not owners equity balance then it means you must work it out okay so to to work it out here we're going to say um 975,000, and then we subtract one or oh, we add back sorry because we are waking up we add back 133,750, and then we minus 185,000, and then we also minus 75,000, and then the answer that we are getting is 838,750 uh 838750 okay so that's the answer that you will get now i'm going to emphasize remember i said if they give you capital balance straight remember here we don't have the errata if they give you owners equity balance instead of capital it means uh, that is the balance of your note not the capital account uh, okay so unless they specify capital that's when uh, you will have to show the movements like that activity that we did in relap so guys make sure if they say owners equity balance it means it is the closing balance or opening balance of the note but you must check most of the time they'll give you the closing balance of the note and you wake it up if they give you capital then you must remember that the opening balance of your note will be if that capital includes the addition you subtract it and you put it the balance of capital at the beginning but I feel this is where we need to improve as accounting because that's where most of our learners are also getting confused. But uh, so now we are done with the uh, equity note. Let's uh, finalize our inventory note. Now, when it comes to our inventory note, it's going to be we're going to say um, three hundred and ten thousand, and then we subtract eight thousand seven hundred and fifty. Our answer is three o one. 250 so we'd have that 301 250 here and then that answer we're going to say 301 250 uh, plus 3725 it is giving us 304975 so our total here will be 304975 and then from there we go to the other note that we have traitors for salaries we did not have any adjustment that has got to do with this so we'd have that 16,000 here and then SARS pay you would not have any adjustment that has to do with this so we'll therefore have that 3200 here and then from there we get the total of these three four items and then we put the total at the bottom so let's see so um 74800 plus 16000 plus 3200 and then plus 100000 it is giving us 194,000. So our total here is 194,000. Then guys, um, we would be done with our notes. So if you know the structure of your notes, you are not going to struggle anyway, but you must make sure that guys, you know your structure by heart. Moving transactions will, be, will not be a problem, okay? So thank you so much guys for watching this. I hope that this will help you in preparation with your project may god richly bless you shalom don't forget to subscribe to this channel share this lesson with your friends and loved ones Dah.